back on your Wednesday across the world in Italy. Mount Etna has been putting on a mesmerizing display. Italy's majestic volcano has been spitting out smoke rings over the last several days. And they're also called volcanic vortex rings, which are natural near perfect circles of gas emitted from a volcano. It's a relatively rare phenomenon caused by the constant release of vapors and gases. It's certainly a stunning mm -hmm. view. I'm sure it's even more beautiful in person. Yeah, and if you didn't know there was a volcano there, just looking up and seeing rings <laughs> in the sky, I'd be like, oh, it is. <laughs> they're here. <laughs> I was gonna say, say uh, I was going to say, <laughs> can't you certainly imagine just like camping out in Italy and looking uh, up at the night sky and seeing those volcanic rings? That's wild. It would be absolutely amazing. Talking about the temperatures this morning, we do have some bitter cold wind chills out west. Nine below is what it feels like in Bethel. Thirty-five below in Kotzebue. Uh, feels like forty below in Dead Horse. So still seeing some cold conditions across the state. Uh, while we are holding on to those sub-zero wind chills out west, that incoming winter storm is going to displace all of that colder air, and we will see those temperatures rise uh, as we welcome in uh, the coming days. As far as what we're dealing with this morning, there's that area of low pressure uh, just to the south of uh, Kenai that is going to continue uh, to shift to the south and weaken as we uh, head through the remainder of your Wednesday, and we do have some lingering activity uh, out towards eastern Prince William Sound. Meanwhile, for southeast, widespread rain and some breezy conditions can be expected for you today. Uh, but the big story is this area of low pressure that's really going to lead to some heavy snowfall and some gusty conditions uh, for western Alaska. A large chunk of the state is up under uh, winter weather advisory or winter weather alerts from blizzard warnings to winter storm warnings, high wind warnings. Uh, so we are going to be talking about this being a multi-day event. It starts today for western Alaska, uh, where we're already seeing those winds get gusting anywhere from about 30 to 55 miles per hour. And those winds will continue to pick up as we head through the remainder of the day. We're talking about extreme western uh, Alaska, or at least coastal regions, could see those winds upwards of 55 miles per hour. That combined with the incoming snow uh, will lead to some lowering visibility down to less than a quarter of a mile. And with warmer temperatures set to arrive for parts of western Alaska, uh, we could even see some freezing rain, if not uh, some areas of wintry mix embedded within uh, this system. So heavy snowfall increased as, as we head through the day. Expect some of that heavier activity to arrive uh, into the afternoon hours. Overnight into your Thursday, we're going to pick up an additional round of some moisture. Uh, and we're going to be talking about several inches of accumulation. Some locations out west could see up to a foot of snowfall. Uh, and then as we welcome in our overnight hours, clouds begin to increase across south central. Uh, we'll see those winds pick up and then we'll see a chance for some snow uh, as we head through the day tomorrow. Of course, the better opportunity will be out towards the Susitna Valley. Uh, of course, your eastern Kenai, western Prince William Sound, your typical areas that tend to be hit hard with the snowfall. Uh, that will occur tomorrow while Anchorage and surrounding locations will be dealing with our down sloping winds. So we'll stay dry for most of the day tomorrow uh, with our best chance of seeing some uh, snow uh, arriving Thursday night into Friday. So nowhere near done with that snowfall, but we are beginning to wind down the season. Uh, but this certainly is a stronger storm system that we continue to watch. That snow total forecast uh, across the state shows just how much activity uh, we are going to see as we head through the coming days. Notice these dark blues and these purples. Uh, this is where we could see up to eight plus inches of accumulation, uh, even parts of south central as you head out towards Talkeetna, really north northwest of Talkeetna, uh, could see the potential for up to eight plus inches of accumulation uh, as well. As this system dies down and we welcome in the middle of the month, notice we continue to hold on to that wet weather pattern uh, for much of the state, although really trending wetter across the northwest Arctic borough. Uh, while the, uh, the Aleutians is actually going to tilt towards uh, some drier weather. Across the state today, we'll see 39 in Anchorage, 27 in Nome. Uh, still holding on to some windy conditions out towards the Aleutians with highs in the lower 40s. And then you can see the mid to upper 40s can be expected for southeast as well. The slope, uh, seeing those temperatures in the single digits with some breezy winds. Expect winds for you uh, to continue to increase as we welcome in uh, your Thursday and Friday as well. Uh, we're talking about highs near 40 degrees, watching for that incoming storm system. Enjoy the sunshine today. Uh, but again, we are expected to see some of those gusty conditions as we welcome in tomorrow. Uh, only need 3.3 inches of snowfall to set a brand new season record. All right, maybe we'll reach it.